Is my face in the frame? I don't want my whole head. I just want my face. Yeah. Come back over here. He right here. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I've been putting out videos on a constant basis, which makes me feel good because it's like... Uh, I've been pretty much doing what I said I was going to do. But, um, uh, update on what's been going on. So, I end up canceling my appointment with the place that I was supposed to go. So... I had went to one oncologist and they rubbed me the wrong way. Let me put this in your pocket real quick. And they rubbed me the wrong way. So I ended up going to a, um, I had an appointment that was made before that for a different oncologist. And so I ended up canceling an appointment or whatever. And, well, I didn't cancel. I just didn't go. But the nurse called. She was like, yeah, you know, are you coming to your appointment? She did it like a few minutes beforehand or whatever. Did you, are you coming to your appointment? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to come. So then the doctor called. Y'all, this rubbed me the wrong way completely. But it was just like, this shows you why I didn't want to go to an oncologist. Was because of the fact that I was, um, I was scheduled to go to that doctor. And the doctor called me and they're like, well um why did you cancel your appointment and i was like because I, I don't want to come first of all because you know it's a choice and pretty much because of the fact that again it's a choice and his ears look good um and because it's not necessarily where i want to do i don't want to do another oncologist because the first one told me the same thing that you're going to tell me is chemotherapy and stuff like that and so i told her that i didn't want to do chemotherapy and that um, uh, right now, uh, because I'm pregnant and stuff like that. So she says, oh, well, I know that you're currently pregnant and you lost your daughter last year. So um, I see why you don't want to do it, but you really need chemo and stuff like this. Mind you that they didn't even tell me necessarily, there's mosquitoes out right now. They Mind you, they didn't necessarily tell me what was wrong with me yet. They didn't tell me... They done, we've done one round of blood tests, which I haven't gotten back, and they haven't really told me anything else. So mind you, we don't even know if I need chemotherapy immediately or whatever, but they want to do it for me immediately, right? So she's like, you know, it's a high chance that it could spread and stuff like that, but you know, um, you do need chemo, and um, the fact is, is that, yeah, that's all I was looking at. The fact is that you could possibly kill you and your baby because you're not doing chemo. And then she, like I said, she said the whole thing about my daughter. Now, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? F U B. I'm just gonna say that because. Yeah, my he said he's gonna come in there and fire on her ass. But yeah, it's like at this point when I told her, you know, I didn't want to come to the appointment. She was like, oh yeah, trying to be all nice and stuff. But then she tried to get real with me. And try to be like, well, you gonna die. Uh, you and your baby gonna die if you don't do chemo. And it's like, like I said, no blood test has been completely came back and said, okay, well, this is what's going on and stuff like that. None of that. But the way she came at me is like she got mad. So I end up, I had end up making an appointment before then. The reason why I didn't go to her appointment was because I had made an appointment for a hematologist instead of an oncologist because. The oncologists are trying to make me automatically do chemo and stuff like that. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to work this on my own. So I pretty much need somebody to monitor me and make sure everything's okay with me and the baby as I'm going through this. And they're not trying to do that. They're just trying to automatically put me in um, chemotherapy, radiation, and a port. They're trying to do all that. And it was just like, you could tell how their personalities changed real quick when I was like, nah, I don't want to do chemotherapy or I'm not coming to your appointment. It was like she got really um, rude. To me, it was rude. It was rude and disrespectful. Don't bring up my daughter. You don't know my daughter. Y'all don't even tell me. Y'all didn't even tell me what happened with my daughter until um, I had to go in there and... The doctor was like, oh, well, I see this, that, and the other happen. When was you going to tell me this? When was you going to tell me that I have anemia? And it's just like, I hate that secretive shit that these doctors do where you don't tell me what's going on. So I'm going to try to end up getting my actual paperwork, which, you know, they're not going to give it to me because they feel as though, even though it's my body, they don't have to give me my paperwork and stuff like that. But at the same time, it was just like, I don't like, 
going to an oncologist. I'm not going to go to an oncologist. I'm going to see how this hematologist do and then see what happens pretty much with that. And hopefully, hopefully, um, they'll work with me. If not, then I have to keep searching. And it's just like, like I said, I'm not trying to take a year to fix this or whatever. And she was like, yeah, it could spread and stuff like this. I'm not trying to take a year to fix this. I'm asking for a few months for my baby to get better so that we could deliver a healthy baby and that I can have a chance to make sure or to at least see that, you know, something might work. But they're not trying to do that. They're just trying to automatically put me on chemotherapy and radiation. I know that they get paid for that. So it's not like I'm surprised or anything like that. So what? So we had went, oh, got my camera. We had went looking at apartments, right? Just kind of looking to see what, um, he in trouble. <laughs> you can tell, he, you can tell he's acting up because he'll like start running with his tail, his butt real low to the ground. But, um, we had went looking at apartments, not like any, come back over here, Nova. We had went um, looking at apartments, not necessarily like a, what is it called? Like a, a walkthrough when you look at apartments, nothing like that. But we had went and looked um, at um, just like driving through to see. And we actually saw this place that we were looking at a while ago. Um, and it's like two bedroom, two bath for like nine something because we wanted to cut back on our budget. We was going to go up into the thousands, but we wanted to cut back on our budget because of the fact that oh, there's mosquitoes out right now because it's like damp. But um, because of the fact that uh, we, uh, because of what's going on with me, and so we wanted to cut back on our budget so I could juice and do different things like that. Yeah. There's so many mosquitoes out here, it don't make no sense. It's like pretty out here because all these trees and stuff, but then when it gets a little wet, mosquitoes come out and they be acting all, all crazy and stuff. Uh, but we were on our way back into the neighborhood, right? And I seen a baby gate and I was like, what? That's a baby gate. That's a baby gate. And I was like, babe, get that baby gate real quick. Cause I'm cool with buying, getting stuff off, off the side of the road for the baby because it's like, you know, I'm not bougie. I don't need uh, the baby to have all brand new stuff. It, it, it's, they're going to throw up on it anyway. Um, we end up finding three bags of things. Like one bag had toys in it. The other bag, uh, three bags had stuff in it. One of them had toys in it. The other one had like a bunch of boy clothes, which I don't have a problem with um, my daughter wearing boy clothes if it is a girl or stuff like that. So I'm perfectly fine with that. And uh, the other one had like Baby Genius um, DVDs. And I looked them up on YouTube and I see why they didn't open them because they suck but it was just like a blessing if we didn't leave the house when we did we wouldn't have found what we found and we wouldn't have got what we got thank you so we got two 200 is good and regular light i'm not looking for nothing like for a low light or anything like that because that's not necessarily what we're shooting for it's the kind of camera i got yeah. yeah. You gonna put it in there for me? Hey, is it for 35 millimeter? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's 35 millimeter because when we was looking at it on the instructions, it said 35. B roll shots, but mm -hmm. put them in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's something wrong with you. So we out here at the park today because we wanted to, let me get my stuff together first. Yeah, it was his idea. So we out here at the park today because we wanted to get out and be active because I'd be real tired. And uh, we had just got done eating at Witch is Witch, right? Sandwich, the yellow one. Y'all know what I'm talking about, it's not Subway. But we about to just enjoy walking. I'm going to stay in the shade as much as I can. There's a lot of people out here at the park and you can't see all these people behind us. There's a whole lot of people out here at the park.
What you doing? Just breathing. So you guys, so today we had went for a walk and stuff and we went out, we ate out. We needed to get out because it gets overwhelming at times uh, with dealing with um, what's going on. It gets very overwhelming and his way of, it was a mosquito, there's so many mosquitoes out here, we about to go in. But um, with dealing with what's going on so it's like his way of getting me out today was taking me to go get something to eat which i enjoyed a lot sitting out and doing it and then um uh and then going and walking around the park it was hot out there and i was tired i'm telling you i was yawning but that's why i'm out here sitting down usually when we come out here and play with him i sit down so i could be out here longer than i normally would so i can just kind of like enjoy the time of being with him without having to deal with the fact of uh having to stand up the whole time but you know just today was up oh, he put a hole in it yeah. yep i hear it whistling and that's what he biting around right now you hear it he's spraying him right now with uh this mosquito repellent but he gonna fight it ain't none in there but yeah it's just like making these videos and just doing stuff in the sense of like going out and us taking pictures a day it makes my days better because you know just it's just a lot going on but i thank y'all for watching and keeping up with us and we'll see y'all later in the next video